Who are we according to the Bible? We the Israelites that went into slavery for breaking God's commandments. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you gotta repent and come back and keep God's commandments. Give me Baruch chapter one. Baruch chapter one, verse 19. Let's see if we actually been cursed by God. Let's find out. Is this documented in the Bible? Read this. This is the book of Baruch, chapter one and verse 19. Bring it out. Since the day that the Lord brought our fathers out of the land of Egypt. Who is our fathers? The, so the uh, Israelites that God brought out of the land of Egypt. Read it again. Since the day that the Lord brought our fathers out of the land of Egypt until the present day we have been disobedient unto the Lord our God. So the Bible says ever since we came out of the land of Egypt God says we have been rebellious against God. From that time up until right now we disobedient to what this Bible say. You go to church, you clap, you run, and you sing. You clap, you run, and you sing, but you don't, you don't do what the Bible say. Read it again. Since the day that the Lord brought our fathers out of the land of Egypt, until this present day, we have been disobedient unto the Lord our God. We have been disobedient unto the Lord our God. What, what, what does that mean? Because God told us to keep his commandments. It's holidays in the Bible that we're supposed to be celebrating, but we're not celebrating them. But we'll celebrate Christmas and then say, well, I know it's not in the Bible, but I do it for my children. And we show you that it's not according to the Bible. It was a lie that was taught to us and was, and was given to our ancestors in slavery. They beat us and forced us to keep Christmas, to keep Thanksgiving, to keep Halloween. And now today, we celebrate those things anyway. We are a rebellious people. Read. Hey, we have been neglig negligent in, in not hearing his voice. We have been negligent in not hearing the voice of God. You blacks and Hispanics, you are the children of Israel. And you've been rebellious ever since God brought our forefathers out of Egypt. Y'all do everything that this country set up, but we show you in the Bible the right way to walk. You say to hell with that Bible. I'm going to do me. Teach. Death is coming for everybody that don't want to repent and keep God's laws. That's right. That's why we went into slavery. Hey, come here, sister. I want to show you something. I see your Bible. Come here real quick. Let me show you what we're teaching. Let me show you. What's your nationality, sis? Puerto Rican, come here, sis. According to the Bible, you are Israelite from the tribe of Ephraim. You ain't That's no Puerto right. Rican. Puerto Rican means point of riches. That's right. You is not a point of rich. According to the Bible, you're from the tribe of Ephraim. That's okay? Right. The blacks and the Hispanics are the children of Israel, the people that Moses brought out of Egypt. That's right. Okay? We got to repent and keep God's laws. How you doing, sis? Come here real quick. What's your nationality? I'm Cherokee, Indian, Sicilian. What Cherokee Indian and Sicilian? What your father is? Cherokee Sicilian. Your father a Cherokee Indian, right? Do you know according to the Bible that you're from the tribe of Gad? That's right. Did you That's know that? Right. No, I didn't. Your do you know anything about your ancestors? About what happened to your people when they was on this land? What happened to your ancestors when a white man came over here and they conquered this land? What did they do to your people? They robbed us. Robbed y'all of what? Of the alcohol, the medicine, the land. The land. They took everything from y'all, right? This was y'all land at first. Do you know why that, that happened to y'all? Do you know why that because happened? Because we were naive and smoked, they were smoking the peyote and drinking liquor. I'm going to show you in the Bible. Watch this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to read this verse again. According to the Bible, you're not a Cherokee Indian. Okay, you from the tribe of Gad. That name was placed on y'all when a white man came and conquered this land. You understand? Yes, sir. Okay, now what, you celebrate Thanksgiving? Yes. Why? I just had to ask you that because I want to see if you know the history behind Thanksgiving. Um, because I'm grateful for the things that I have for my family, my friends, my health. But you believe in the Bible, right? I believe in a higher power. You don't? Do you believe in this book, though? 
I believe in Remember, a higher power. That's, that's good. Enough. So, that's a higher power, right? Do you know that? They rape, robbed, and pillaged your people in the 1700s and called it Thanksgiving. Teach. Because they took this land and you celebrating the death of your people. Bring Read Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. I'm, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Because I'm going to say this, sis. Our people do want to celebrate holidays, right? We all want to, those are times that we come together and be with our family, right? Okay. Jesus Christ, you believe in Jesus, right? We supposed to follow up. Give me that real quick. Give me uh, 1 Peter 2.21. Because it's holidays in the Bible. Thanksgiving is not one of them. You understand? I'm going to show you a holiday documented in the Bible that we supposed to celebrate. You understand that? So what they did was when they conquered our people, they, they didn't teach us the truth of the Bible. They taught us what they wanted us to know. So they took away the true holidays and taught us the wrong holidays. You understand that? They never changed anything in the Bible. They changed the way we think. Now what's your name? Nikki. Nikki. Watch this, Nikki. First Peter chapter 2, verse 21. This is the book of First Peter, chapter 2, and verse 21. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us. So Christ died on the cross to give us the opportunity to repent and keep God's commandments. You understand that? So he suffered for us. He died for us to live. You understand that? Read. Leaving us an example. Christ did what? Leaving us an example. So Christ left us an example. Hey, bro. Hey, brother, come here. Come here real quick. Come here. Come over here. Christ, hold on. Don't go nowhere. Come, come here. It's going to be real quick. Just don't worry. What's your name? I, yeah. I What's your name? Okay, okay. Um, where you on your way to? The store? Oh, I want you to stay right here. Give me one second before you go in that store, okay? Now watch this, Nikki. So the Bible said Christ suffered for us, leaving us an example. I want you to listen to this. Read. Leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. So when it says that we should follow Christ's steps, what does that mean? What does that mean, to follow someone's steps? Meaning we got to do what? Follow behind them. Right, follow behind them. Do what they do, right? Now watch this. Give me John chapter 7, verse 1. Watch this real quick. You heard what that said, bro? It says that Christ died for us. He left us an example that we should follow his steps. Meaning we should do what Christ did. Nikki, you hear me? We supposed to do what Christ did, right? Watch this. John 7, verse 1. This is the book of John chapter 7 and verse 1. After these things... Jesus walked in Galilee, for he would not walk in Jewry, because the Jews sought to kill him. Now, the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. You heard what that said? It says the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. Who are the Jews? We are the Jews, the so-called blacks right. and Hispanics. You understand that? It's a feast day documented in the Bible that Christ was keeping. You understand that? Watch this, jump down to 14, because you don't got to celebrate Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a lie. Thanksgiving That's is right. the death of your people. That's you right. understand that? They were thankful that they was able to conquer the Cherokee Indians and take this land. That's Thanksgiving. They slaughtered 77 million Native American Indians and called it Thanksgiving and you celebrating the death of your people. You gotta repent from that, Nikki. Read. Verse 14. Now about the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught. In the midst of the feast, Christ went up into the temple and taught. So what holiday did Christ keep? The Feast of Tabernacles. Now, sis, read, read verse two again. Verse two. Now, the Jews' Feast of Tabernacles was at hand. So Christ celebrated the Feast of Tabernacles. And Peter's, they say we should follow who? We should follow Jesus. We should keep, have you ever heard of that holiday? You never heard of that holiday. You know why? We was taught lies in this country. Watch this. I want to show you something too, bro. I want to give, give me uh, John chapter 10, verse 22. There's holidays in the Bible, okay? But what you got to do is repent. You can't celebrate the death of your own people. I know it seems fun, 
But once you come amongst your brothers that understand the Bible, there is holidays in here for us to keep. True holidays that God gave us as a people. Watch this. Read that. John 10, 22. This is the book of John chapter 10 and verse 22. And it was at Jerusalem. Nick, hold on. I want you to hear this. Nick, wait. Wait a minute. And it was at Jerusalem. The Feast of Dedication. The Feast of Dedication is another high holy day that we're supposed to be keeping. Because this is the reason why we've been brought into captivity under the white man. Because we're breaking God's commandments. Read that. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the land bring wares or victuals. So that's talking about basically if these other nations come and open up their stores, you understand that, right? To sell things to us. Or any victuals on the Sabbath day. Today is the Sabbath day. Read. To sell that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath day. The Bible says we are not supposed to buy on the Sabbath day, which is today, brother. Whatever it is that you wanted uh, to eat today or things that you needed to use today, you're supposed to bought it yesterday. You understand that? Before the sun went down. So if you go in there and buy anything out of that store, you break a God commandments. And everybody that break God commandments is going to get put to death. Do you understand that? Read on. Or on the holy day. Or on the holy day. Do you understand that? According to the Bible, we're the Israelites. That's and we right. broke God's commandments. That's why we, in, until we repent and come back and keep God's commandments, we're going to stay in the conditions that we're in today. Read How old are you? Go back to Baruch 3. I mean Baruch chapter 1. How old are you? You're 17. You celebrate, those, you celebrate holidays, right? Christmas, Thanksgiving, you celebrate those things? I can't hear you. Yeah? I just read a couple holidays out of the Bible that we're supposed to be keeping. What our people doing right now is wrong. We're not supposed to be celebrating Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, none of those things. Like the Sabbath day I just showed you. Those are the holidays that we're supposed to be celebrating as a people. You understand that? Watch this. Read that again. 1, 1 and 19. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 1 and verse 19. Bring it out. Since the day that the Lord brought our fathers out of the land of Egypt unto this present day. We have been disobedient unto the Lord our God. Since our fathers came out of the land of Egypt, we have been disobedient to what this Bible tells us to do and not to do. We refuse to keep God's laws. Why? Because you were taught lies in your Christian church. They have not taught you the Bible. They have not taught you why you was brought into slavery in this land. Right. They have not taught you so-called Puerto Ricans, you Mexicans, how this land, how the white man was able to conquer you and take this land. Right. Right. The Bible is telling us right now, we've been rebellious against this Bible ever since our fathers came out of the land of Egypt. Bring it on! We're the children of Israel. Moses told us when he came down off the mountain that if we break God's commandments, we will go into slavery on slave ships. That's documented in the Bible. That's right. That's right. Read on. And we have been negligent in not hearing his voice. How do you hear God's voice? The Bible. The Bible is the voice of God. That's how you hear his voice. But we have been negligent in doing what this book say. Read on. Verse 20. Wherefore the evils cleave unto us. Uh-oh. There we go right there. How do we get a George Floyd? How did that happen? Read it again. Wherefore the evil cleave unto us. Because we break God's commandments, evils cleave unto us. Us getting shot down in the street, is that an evil? Yes. The white man shoot us down in the streets day in and day out. Teach. Look at our community. Look at the garbage everywhere in our community. Huh? The evils cleave unto us. Our young women getting snatched and sold in sex trafficking because we break God's commandments. The Bible says the evils cleave unto us. Read it again. Wherefore? The evils cleave unto us. Because we rebel against this Bible, we don't want to do what this book say. 
A lot of our young men is being shot down in the streets by each other and by the other nations. Right. We live in the ghettos, we, the projects, the slums, because the evils cleave unto us. Why was we shackles put on our necks? Why was we brought into slavery on slave ships? Because today is the Sabbath day and y'all refuse to keep it. One day out of the week, the Lord says no buying, no selling, no working, no cooking. Congregate, come together and keep the commandments and build with one another. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.